The 1966 Dodge Dart GT two-door, listed at $3,000, offers a promising project for classic car enthusiasts. With 80,000 miles, it features an automatic transmission and a slant six engine. The car runs and drives, and the interior is described as very clean. The addition of Willwood brakes all around is a significant upgrade, enhancing its safety and performance. However, it does have some rust, which will need to be addressed. Bar. The Dodge Dart GT from 1966 is a compact and stylish muscle car, known for its durability and ease of maintenance. The Slant 6 engine is particularly well regarded for its reliability. With only two previous owners and a clean interior, this Dart GT could be a solid investment for restoration. The rust issue is a concern, but given the price and the car's overall condition, uh, it's a worthwhile project for those willing to put in the effort to restore it to its former glory. The 1966 Dodge Dart, listed at $3,500, is a decent project car with both positive and negative aspects. With 100,000 miles and a slant six engine, it runs, drives, shifts well, and stops great. The interior is in fairly nice condition, and it has a new water pump. There are no back fees associated with the vehicle, which is a plus. However, there are some small rust spots around the rear window and it needs new tires, a battery, and a carburetor rebuild. The major downside is the absence of a title, with only a bill of sale provided and no clear timeline for when the new title will be issued. The 1966 Dodge Dart is known for its durability and classic appeal. Given its running condition and reasonable price, this Dart could be a good investment for someone willing to handle the minor rust issues and the bureaucratic process of obtaining the title. Overall, it's a promising candidate for restoration or as a reliable driver with some work. The 1966 Chevrolet Bel Air, priced at $3,500, offers a solid foundation for restoration. The car has a clean title, and the engine and motor are reported to be in good condition though it is currently non-operational. The exterior color is green, and while the interior is incomplete, some parts are included. There are no back fees, only a name change required for the title. The Chevrolet Bel Air from 1966 is a classic full-size car known for its solid build and timeless design. This four-door model, while not currently running, provides a good starting point for a restoration project. The clean title and good condition of the engine and motor are significant positives. However, the non-operational status and incomplete interior mean that it will require a fair amount of work to restore it to its former glory. For someone willing to invest the time and resources, this Bel Air could become a beautiful classic car. The 1964 Plymouth Belvedere, listed at $3,500, presents a viable option for restoration or as a parts car. With 78,000 miles on the odometer, this coupe features an automatic transmission and comes in green. The seller emphasizes that this vehicle could either be restored to its original condition or used for parts. A clean title is available, adding to its attractiveness as a project car. The Plymouth Belvedere from 1964 is a classic Mopar, known for its stylish design and solid performance. Given its relatively low mileage and the availability of a clean title, it offers a good starting point for a restoration project. However, the vehicle's current state as a potential parts car suggests it may need extensive work. For enthusiasts looking to restore a classic or acquire parts for another project, this Belvedere could be a worthwhile investment at a firm price of $3,500. The 1953 Cadillac Fleetwood, priced at $3,900, is an interesting find for restoration enthusiasts. With 90,000 miles, this California car comes in blue with matching interior. It's reasonably solid and mostly complete, except for the missing engine. The car has been kept in uh, dry storage for years, which likely helped preserve its condition. The presence of the original black plates adds a touch of authenticity and historical value. The Cadillac Fleetwood from 1953 is a classic luxury car known for its elegant design and luxurious features. This model year represents a time when Cadillac was a symbol of American automotive excellence. While the absence of an engine is a significant drawback, the overall solid condition and completeness of the car make it a viable candidate for restoration. At $3,900, 
It offers a reasonable starting point for a project that could ultimately yield a beautifully restored classic car, provided the engine can be sourced and installed. The 1969 Ford Falcon, priced at $3,200, is a solid candidate for restoration. With 68,000 miles, it features a six-cylinder engine and a manual transmission, three on the tree. Uh, the car runs and shifts well, and it has a clean title, although it's, curr it's currently non-operational. The exterior color is black, adding to its classic appeal. However, it needs significant work, including front floor repairs, new brakes, and new tires. These issues are typical for a vehicle of this age, but will require time and investment to address. The 1969 Ford Falcon is part of the third generation of Falcons, known for their simplicity and reliability. This model year offers a straightforward design and is relatively easy to work on, making it a favorite among classic car restorers. Given its running condition, clean title, and the iconic status of the Falcon, this vehicle could be a worthwhile project for those ready to tackle the necessary repairs. The price of $3,200 reflects its potential, provided the buyer is prepared for the restoration work ahead. The 1969 Chevrolet Impala sedan four-door, listed at $3,000, is a promising project for a classic car enthusiast. With 33,911 miles, this Impala has an automatic transmission and a clean title. The car is currently a roller, meaning it lacks an engine, as the 327 engine was removed by the seller. Despite this, it's described as a good car with minimal damage or problems. The vehicle features a white exterior and a blue interior. It has brand new Millwood disc brakes on the front and drum brakes on the back. Though the rear brakes need redoing, new parts are included. There is some wear and tear on the front seat and the rear window seal needs replacement due to exposure to the elements. The car also comes with a new retrofit radio with Bluetooth capability. The 1969 Chevrolet Impala is a classic full-size car known for its stylish design and comfortable ride. With the right engine and some interior repairs, this Impala could be restored to its former glory. The new brakes and included parts add value, making it a reasonable investment at $3,000 for someone prepared to source and install an engine. The seller is also open to trades, particularly for a daily driver, which could provide additional options for potential buyers. The 1977 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe two-door, listed at $3,500, is a substantial project car. With a manual transmission and a vibrant orange exterior, it has potential but requires significant work. The car lacks brakes, a drive shaft, and a gas tank, making it non-operational and in need of towing. However, the seller includes the drive shaft and gas tank with the car, which is a positive point. The 1977 Camaro is part of the second generation of Camaros, known for their iconic muscle car styling and performance potential. Restoring this vehicle will require addressing the missing components and ensuring that other systems are in good working order. Given its current state, this Camaro is best suited for someone with experience in car restoration and access to the necessary resources. The price of $3,500 reflects its potential value once restored but requires a buyer prepared for a significant investment of time and effort. For the right enthusiast, this project could transform into a stunning example of a classic American muscle car. The 1977 Chevrolet Impala sedan, priced at $3,000 with 142,000 miles, has potential for restoration, depending on its condition and personal preference. With a 3025 V8 engine, although not running currently, it features new components such as an intake manifold, Edelbrock carburetor, new pads and rotors, and new rear brake drums. However, it needs new brake lines and minor work to run. Objectively, this car can be a valuable restoration project if you have the skills and budget to handle additional repairs. Alternatively, its new components make it a good source for parts. At $3,000, the price is reasonable for a restoration project, considering the Chevrolet Impala's history as an iconic model known for its classic design and performance. The 1978 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Coupe, listed for $3,000 with 200,000 miles, offers a unique opportunity for enthusiasts. Despite its high mileage, the car runs well with a 383-stroker engine, 
making it an attractive option for those seeking performance. The rough interior suggests it will require significant refurbishment to restore it to its former glory. Given the car's current status as a daily driver, it indicates reliability despite its age and wear. For $3,000, this Camaro Z28 can be a solid project for restoration or continued use as a reliable, classic daily driver. The Z28 is a well-regarded model in Camaro history, known for its sporty performance and distinctive design, making it a valuable find for classic car enthusiasts. The 1947 Jeep Willys, listed at $3,500, shows great potential for a restoration project. Given that the engine can still be turned over by hand, it suggests that the internal components might still be in decent condition. However, the lack of a title and the extensive work needed make it a risky investment. The $3,500 price tag could be reasonable if the body and chassis are not too severely damaged by rust. The 1947 Jeep Willys is a legendary vehicle used during World War II. Its rugged and versatile design made it a favorite among the military and classic car enthusiasts. If restored, this vehicle could become a valuable piece of history. However, if the overall condition is too poor, salvaging it for parts might be the more prudent choice. The 1979 Chevrolet Impala sedan four-door listed at $3,000 seems to be in fair condition for its age with 175,000 miles on the odometer. The seller notes that it runs and drives well, but needs a carburetor replacement and a gas tank flush, which are manageable repairs. The lack of rust and good body and interior condition make it an attractive option for restoration. The Chevrolet Impala has a rich history as a popular full-size American sedan known for its comfort and performance. The 1979 model is part of the sixth generation, featuring a more boxy design and improved fuel efficiency. Improved fuel efficiency. If you're a serious buyer looking for a classic project car, this Impala could be a great investment. However, ensure a thorough inspection to confirm the overall mechanical condition. The 1965 Chevrolet Corvair Monza, priced at $2,500, presents a promising project opportunity. With a running and driving condition, it appears to be in decent shape for its age. The need for an improved engine bay seal for better cooling on long drives, and the fact that it has complete new brakes, lines, and a dual master cylinder are notable points. The non-original seats from a Fox body Mustang may affect its authenticity for purists, but they can also provide added comfort. The Chevrolet Corvair, produced between 1960 and 1969, is notable for its rear engine design, a unique feature among American cars of its time. The 1965 Monza model is particularly desirable for its improved handling and design refinements. As a classic, it has a dedicated following and can be a rewarding restoration project. Given its condition and price, this Corvair Monza could be a great investment for enthusiasts willing to put in some work. The 1979 Chevrolet Camaro Coupe 2D, listed at $2,200, is an intriguing project car. With 105,368 miles on the odometer, it features a 350 engine and runs and drives, though it is not currently road-ready. The car requires significant work on brakes, wheels, and suspension, and the interior is stripped out, missing several components. Despite these challenges, the clean title and relatively low price make it a potential restoration candidate. The 1979 Camaro is part of the second generation, known for its sporty design and performance capabilities. With its powerful engine, this model is a favorite among muscle car enthusiasts. Restoring this Camaro will require a substantial investment of time and resources, but for the right buyer, it could become a rewarding project. Given the low price and the classic status of the Camaro, this vehicle offers good value if you're prepared for extensive restoration work. The 1947 Chevrolet Fleetline, priced at $2,500, is a classic sedan with potential. The six-cylinder engine turns over, suggesting it's not seized, but it requires a new carburetor and brake work due to long-term storage. The floors and frame are reported to be in good condition, which is crucial for a restoration project. However, the absence of a title could pose significant challenges, despite the VIN and bill of sale. The Chevrolet Fleetline, produced from 1941 to 1952, is renowned for its sleek aerodynamic design and classic appeal. 
The 1947 model, in particular, reflects post-World War II automotive design trends. For classic car enthusiasts, restoring a fleet line can be a rewarding endeavor, transforming it into a beautiful example of mid-20th century American automotive history. Given the solid frame and reasonable price, this vehicle could be a worthy restoration project, provided the title issue can be resolved. The 1963 Buick Skylark Coupe two-door, listed at $2,800, represents a solid project car opportunity. With 135,555 miles, it features the V6 Fireball engine and an automatic transmission. The vehicle runs, drives, and stops, though it requires carburetor and suspension work to be fully roadworthy. Its off-white exterior and blue interior, along with having had only two owners, add to its appeal. The 1963 Buick Skylark is part of the first generation of this nameplate, known for its compact size and stylish design. This model year saw the introduction of the 215 cubic inch V8 engine, but the V6 Fireball engine is also a notable feature for its era. Restoring this Skylark could bring back a piece of early 60s American automotive history. Given the reasonable price and decent running condition, this Skylark offers a promising restoration project for classic car enthusiasts. The 1978 Dodge Aspen RT, priced at $3,000, is an intriguing project car with some significant challenges. It has 100,000 miles and runs and drives in the yard, but requires extensive wiring work due to a poor, poor removal of the lean burn system. The vehicle has a rusty frame and some rust on the floors, though the seller includes replacement frame rails. The clean title is a plus. The Dodge Aspen, produced from 1976 to 1980, was known for its practical size and performance options. The RT model is especially notable for its sportier features and potential as a muscle car. Restoring this Aspen RT would involve substantial effort, particularly addressing the rust issues and wiring. However, for a dedicated restorer, this car could become a unique and rewarding project, especially given its reasonable price and the inclusion of necessary replacement parts. The 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V, priced at $2,400, presents a decent restoration opportunity, despite having sat for over 10 years. The vehicle runs and drives with the engine and transmission performing well. Key mechanical systems like power steering and brakes are functional, and there is no rust. However, the interior is disassembled and messy, which will require significant attention. The absence of a title and reliance on a bill of sale could complicate the process. The 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V is known for its luxury and distinctive design, representing the pinnacle of American luxury cars of its era. Its large size and powerful engine made it a symbol of comfort and prestige. Restoring this car could bring back its former glory as a classic luxury vehicle. Given the overall mechanical completeness and absence of rust, this Mark V could be a worthwhile project for a classic car enthusiast willing to tackle the interior restoration and title issues. The 1975 Plymouth Duster listed at $2,000 could serve as a solid base for a race car or parts car. Featuring a slant six engine and automatic transmission, this Duster has potential for performance modifications. The inclusion of a sunroof and fold down rear seat adds some unique features but the absence of a title restricts it from being easily registered for street use. The Plymouth Duster, produced from 1970 to 1976, is a popular model among muscle car enthusiasts due to its compact size and performance capabilities. The Slant 6 engine is known for its durability and potential for tuning. This particular Duster, given its price and features, is well suited for someone looking to build a race car or seeking parts for another project. However, the lack of a title is a significant drawback for those intending restore it for regular road use. The 1954 Pontiac Star Chief, priced at $3,000, offers a solid foundation for a restoration project. With 84,109 miles, it features a 1955 Pontiac 287 engine and a rebuilt hydromatic transmission. The car is in running condition, able to start and move under its own power. Minimal rust, a new wiring harness, and a switch to a 12-volt system are notable advantages. However, the windshield is cracked, though a replacement is included, and the original front seat is missing. 
The Pontiac Star Chief was a premium model in the mid-1950s, known for its distinctive chrome trim and advanced features for the time. This 1954 model, with its solid Oklahoma provenance and minimal rust, presents an excellent opportunity for restoration. The included parts and trim, along with the title, make it a manageable project for classic car enthusiasts. Given its reasonable price and overall condition, this Star Chief is a worthwhile investment for someone ready to bring it back to its former glory.